The Ministry of Health and Wellness has ramped up COVID-19 testing amid community spread of the virus. 124 tests were conducted on Monday, 26th October. There were no positive cases in that batch. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George on Tuesday provided an update on the national situation during a live press conference on NTN. Um, we presently have 36 active cases, 27 recoveries, and zero deaths. The age range is from 3 years to 84 years. We now have 236 persons in quarantine. We've done a total of 10,291. I have to add the 124 from yesterday to bring it to over um, 10,000, about 400 tests done. On Sunday, we recorded the largest number of tests done in any one day, which was 439. And we also recorded the total number of cases, which we recorded on Monday, which was um, nine. Um, the past weekend was also a record for us in terms of testing, where we did 1,539 samples were processed over the past weekend. And from the period, the 11th to the 25th, we processed 2,567 samples in relation to the contact tracing for the increased cases that we are noting. Two physicians are among the positive COVID cases recorded recently. Dr. Belmar George informed that one is a contact of case 39. There has since been massive testing at the Owen King European Union Hospital, the OKEU, with 119 tests conducted. This resulted in one case being detected. The hospital live in a very proactive way um, from the time the contact tracing was done and even before the confirmation of those cases, they did put a plan together to see how they would um, quarantine those persons who need to be and to provide services to the public because as you would imagine, um, this is our main public hospital. So in a very proactive way, they've looked at how they would recruit um, staff from other public facilities, also part-time staff, to ensure that um, emergencies are, are dealt with and services, which for some of the, the outpatient clinics, are being provided within our community um, services. So far, from the 119 tests that were done, both staff, um, clinical staff and support services, uh, no, we had one more positive which was detected within the, the hospital. So we anticipate that after the period of quarantine and retesting, we would gradually um, go back to normal. It also gave the, the hospital the opportunity to review their, their protocols and their, their policies to ensure um, adherence at every level within the hospital setting. So it is something which we've prepared for. We anticipated, especially the hospital is seen as a high risk institution. 